Hello guys! I am just a random fangirl and welcome back to my channel! This time we'll be reacting to Haruhi Susumiya, season 2 episode number 13 and it's the second to last episode of the season I am so excited and so terrified at the very same time because I don't want this show to end. I've been enjoying it so much so far and uh, I don't know, it just, it always feels weird when I am about to finish a show. It, 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 it always feels weird. <laughs> I don't like finish, finishing shows, but I guess that I'll have to do it. <laughs> Anyway, um, so last time we were still working on the movie that was shown to us in the first, in the very first episode of the show, and and yeah, we were still working towards that masterpiece that we saw <laughs> earlier on, and Mikuru was just you know, being the main character of the film, and then she had the Mikuru beam, because that's what Haruhi wanted, and you guys know that what Haruhi wants, Haruhi gets, so that was dangerous, but you know, we have Nagato, and she is always saving the day, and that is great. <laughs> she deserves a race, I'm just, I am just saying. Um, what else happened? At the at the at the end of the episode we were recruiting some new well some some classmates to appear in the movie. I want to see where the cat is going to show up because I remember a black cat, I think. I'm not really sure if it was black or other color, but I remember a cat. And we still have to film all of the scenes with Koizumi, so that that that, that should be fun. <laughs> Again, I'm not really sure if we're going to end, if we're going to wrap up all of the filming in this episode, but I just want to know, I just want to know what's going to happen. That's it. So, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, this is going to be a highlighted reaction. But if you want to catch the full length, uncut, unedited reactions, I am going to leave you my Patreon account in the description box down below and feel free to check it out. Um, we are a bunch of episodes ahead in there as well. And I think that's it, so without further ado, let's just jump into this reaction, shall we? Well, she's wearing a skirt! <laughs> ノリコエルにはちょっとこの作は背が高い <laughs> Oh, I love that music though. This scene, is great. また昨日のあれを繰り返そうってのか。さあ、ミクルちゃん、その魅力のミクルアイあるから何でもいいわ。不思議なものを出して攻撃しなさい。ああ。ちょっと勇気。あなたマホを使いなのよ。こんなとこ
もちろん、スズミヤさんにそんな自覚はないですよ。あくまでフィクションの世界を作っているつもりです。ただ、その熱中のあまり、無意識に現実世界に影響を及ぼしているのだと考えられます。As we have seen. どっちにしてもバッドエンドかよ。<笑>それでも、どちらかを選ばないといけないのだとしたら。僕は速攻を選びますね。アサヒナさんがスーパーウーマンになっちまってもか。今回のことは新人に比べると小規模です。世界がゼロからやり直しになることに比べたら、単発的な異常現象を何とかする方が簡単なような気がしませんか ？I guess so. There are no many options. どっちもどっちだ。ある日を後ろからぶん殴って、文化祭の終わるまで気絶させておくってのはどうだ？恐れ多いことです。あなたが全責任を負ってくれるのならば、止めはしませんが。<笑>ね、おいおい、この池にかよ。ぬるいかもしれんが、もう飽きたぜ。水だってお世辞にも綺麗とは言えねえが。す、す、すみやさん、せめて放水プールとか。確かに過酷な撮影よね。でもね、ミクルちゃん。目指すリアリズムのためには今この犠牲を払わなければいけないのよ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーイスマッタディープ。ハニーまったく、無駄なものは露天商を開けるくらいあるくせに、タオルいや、観客は納得しないぜ。うるさいわね、そんなの取らなくても、ちゃんと見てる人には伝わるの。わあ、まるでハウワークス。池に突き落としたかっただけか。あのさ、私の家がすぐ近くなんだけどさ、ミクルが風邪ひきそうだから、着替えさせてやってもいいかな。ポールミクルちょうどいいわ。つるちゃんの部屋を貸してくんない。そこでいつきとミクルが仲良くしてるところを取るのうんいいよ使って使ってえっと僕たちはお前だろうがいやほらシャキッとしなさいこんなリアクションじゃダメよこうして頭を叩かれたら背筋をピーンと伸ばすくらいのことはしないと He's getting mad and you know what You know what? Like, 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 I am right there with him. Stop doing that, dude. Yeah, Mero. Yeah, Nani are in Shuda. Yeah, thank you, baby. Mm hmm. Nani, Tommy, I do. Nobody's coconut, each other, you still see so tense. Oh, this is going to end the battery. Oh, this is going to end the battery. 何決めつけてんのよ映画の中身を知らないくせに勝手なこと言うんじゃないわよお前こそ勝手なこと言って朝比奈さんを叩いてるだけだろうがそんな権利お前にはねうるさいわねあんたに何がわかるっていうのよこれも私の映画にとっては大事な約束事の一つなの誰との約束だそれはつまらん朝比奈さんはお前のおもちゃじゃねえぞ私が決めたのミクルちゃんは私のおもちゃなの<笑> Very mad, and I get it. Who was it? I think it was Chucky Nagato. Koizumi. Yeah, yeah. This was getting like really okay. Okay, so like okay, okay. Yeah. So I was thinking about this、um, earlier on. In the last reaction, but I didn't say anything because, yeah, so yeah, that is the thing, isn't it? I know that it's played for comedic effect and you know, just to keep the story, mo the story moving forward, but the thing is, was and remains that 
they all have to always walk around on eggshells around Haruhi. That is a thing. That, 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 that's always the case. And... And yeah, it must be tiring. And the thing is that Haruhi has this aura of entitlement that doesn't sit right with me all of the time. I know that she doesn't mean bad, and I know that she is not doing all of the stuff that she's doing on purpose. It's not like she's aware of that. But the thing remains that she is kind of selfish and entitled in many, many occasions. And that is really shown through his through, through her relationship with Mikuru. I mean, like, with everyone. She's, she's really entitled with everyone. But especially Mikuru. And that is always shown by Haruhi making her wear outfits and costumes that we as the audience know Mikuru is not really comfortable wearing but she doesn't have a say in this like it's not as easy as to say no because they all have to walk around on eggshells around Haruhi because of her power and the thing is that there's no there is not an easy answer because you can't just tell her what she's doing. We previously established that, that it's best to monitor her and to see what is going on because no one really knows what's going on. So I get why Keon was getting like really frustrated with her because I was too. Like. The thing is that Haruhi was being really entitled with Mikuru. And Mikuru is not going to stand up for herself. So it is just enraging to watch. And then, like, it's just that <sighs> I just have so many thoughts about, about the whole thing. Because it is so intense. Oh, and through the whole process of making this movie, we've been seeing how um, how everything gets a little bit tenser each time, but because it's almost always played for the laughs and just for the comedic sense of it, I just let it go, but this right here, this was really intense and yeah. Mm -hmm. And Kian just basically exploded. And okay, don't get me wrong, rightfully so. I. It is really not okay what Haruhi did, like any of it. Um, like really, any of it. Not making Mikuru just um make costumes that she's not comfortable with because most of the time those outfits are over sexualized and she is a lot of the time just using Mikuru's looks for her benefit and that is also not all right like at all <laughs> and And like, yeah, I get what she was saying, like, yeah, you have to do stuff in, you know, the movie to make it more realistic and stuff. And that is all very good as long as everyone is consenting to it. But the thing about Haruhi is that no one can truly consent with her around because of her power. And it's not her fault because she's not even aware of that. But I am, I, am, I am also like really interested in seeing how Haruhi could react to knowing that she has all of this power. And that's what makes Haruhi really interesting as a character because she's deeply flawed. She's really fun and she's really competent, weird enough, and she's 
um, an overachiever of sorts and she's just really interesting but at the same time as I said before she's really entitled selfish childish some of the time and I don't know I don't think that she quite understands the ramification of her actions or you know she's really smart so maybe she's she understands it she doesn't it's just that she doesn't care she doesn't care too much about it she doesn't make a big deal out of it because for her it's not a big deal so I just really get why Kion was getting so fucking frustrated with her because I was too I was right there with him because like you reach a point where you really need to keep yourself in check <laughs> And again, I think that this situation, it's really tricky because everyone has to walk around on eggshells around Haruhi. And that just really complicates the communication between our main group. But this, wow, this really exploded. I loved it. It was so raw. But I just... Oh my god. It's just that this is really, really intense. And I am not blaming Haruhi for everything. Like, again, most of the things that happened are not really her fault. Because she is not aware of it. Which is, you know, a really interesting just weird combination of factors but I I am oof. I am just worried <laughs> but yeah this got out of hand damn it だからこそ <僕たちは鈴宮さんを何とかしようとしているのです>。<笑> ヘサ空間から戻ってきたと考えていたのですが違いましたかさあ、どうだったかなまるで自分たちが世界を守っているとでもいうような言い草でしたまるで自分たちが世界を守っているとでもいうような言い草でしたまるで自分たちが世界を
move forward and pass through those things if it's something that you're willing to do because there are some things that could just break a friendship a relationship anything and I am all about setting boundaries <laughs> and it's like the hedgehog dilemma right it's finding the right distance for you and other people not to get hurt and finding finding the distance finding the way to actually communicate with another person it's not as easy as it sounds and that is a wonderful thing about human interaction again there were a lot of things that were really interesting and exciting being discussed about Haruhi, about the world, about the interactions between the characters and also about how Haruhi feels and how she acts because again I'm not saying that she's the devil. I'm not saying that she's bad. I am just saying that she's entitled. <laughs> and she needs to work on that. <laughs> but it was just... Wow. Amazing. <laughs> I have no words. I love it. I think that this is one of my favorite episodes in the show, in the anime so far. I've been loving it. It's great. And I really want to see the cat. So... Next episode, the last episode, we're probably going to see how this movie turns out. I mean, like, we, 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 we already know, but how the filming, how the between the scenes of the movie turns out to be. And yeah, so I am super excited about that. And I think that's it. So I really, really enjoyed this episode. Again, I think that this is one of my favorite episodes so far. I really liked the third or fourth episode in The Endless Eight as well because of... I'm not really sure what episode it was, but I remember one of them really clearly because it had a lot of deja vu moments. And the use of music and the visuals was really great. And... Uh, I don't know, there are so many great episodes. Anyway, we have one episode left and the movie, and that is it. I am not ready! <laughs> I am really not ready. Anyways, um, I had such a great time. And if, you in and if you enjoyed the reaction, don't forget to leave a like or a comment. Anything you want would be highly appreciated. And if you want to know when I upload my reactions, I'm going to leave you my Patreon account in the description box down below. And feel free to check it out. I guess that that's it. So we'll be seeing each other on the next reaction. Bye!